Okay, question number 11 from June 2014, IAL C12. Uh, you have a question about circles. Um, we're given this diagram, figure four, it says, figure four shows a sketch of a circle C with center Q and equation as given. Um, find the coordinates of Q and the exact value of the radius C. Okay, that's a pretty standard question for um, this type of you know, questions here, you have to find the center and the radius, which involves taking the expression or the equation they've given you and completing the square. So you write it in the form x plus a, or normally they write minus, doesn't make much of a difference, x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. You want to write it in this form where you can write down the center and the radius straight away. So that involves completing the square. So I'm going to write x squared. Now I'm going to write the x's together. So you've got minus 6x. Then you've got plus y squared. And I've got plus 2y. Then I'm going to take the constant here, which is just the 5, and I'm going to subtract it from both sides. So I'm left with just the x and the y terms on the left side, x squared and the x's, y squared and y's on the left side. And any constant I've I've... I've taken away from the left side and put it on the right side by, by subtracting. So here, plus 5, I took away 5. Now I can complete the square for the x term. So I'm going to have x minus, give me a bracket, squared. Now, I've got to take a half of this coefficient. Now, a half of 6 is 3. So it's going to be x minus 3 squared. Then I've always got to take away the square of this number. Whether it's positive or negative, I always square it, take away the square of this number. It gives you 9. Why do I do that? Because if I square this bracket, I'm going to get x squared minus 6x plus 9. I don't want the plus 9. I'm just going to take it away. Similarly for here, I've got a square bracket. This will be a y, this will be a plus. Why is it a plus? Because there's a plus here. A minus here, that's a minus. Plus here, that's a plus here. And I've got to take a half of this coefficient without the y term, just the coefficient. That will give me 1. Now that will give me y squared plus 2y plus 1. I don't want the plus 1 at the end, so I take it away. And that's equal to negative 15, negative 5, sorry. And now I've got x minus 3 squared plus y plus 1 squared minus 10 equals negative 5. So I'll end up with x minus 3 squared plus y plus 1 squared is equal to minus 5 plus 10, which is 5. So I can say that the center of the circle which is given the letter Q. The center of the circle Q is going to be the opposite of this, which is going to be 3, and the opposite of that, which is minus 1. Okay, that will be the center of the circle, and the radius is going to be given by the square root of 5, the positive square root of 5. Okay, the square root of this, this is R squared. And there we have found the answer for part A. Okay, so it says the exact value of the radius, so that gives you a clue that will be in something in third form. It says exact value. Okay, so we found the answer to part A, and I'll do part B in the next um, video.